Hey there, I'm Shane and I'm an education manager here at Sphero. And today I'm gonna to be walking you through our new Little Bits Invention Kit and showing you how to use it in the classroom. The Little Bits Invention Kit is our newest and most versatile Little Bits Kit. And it comes with a wide selection of different inputs, outputs, and accessories. Let's dive in. When you open up the kit, you'll find a tray filled with 29 electronic modules or bits. Each bit can snap to any other bit using the magnetic bit snap. Boom. Building circuits is really easy once you understand the four color-coded categories. All circuits start with a blue power bit. This is either connected to a battery or a USB. You're gonna need a blue power bit for every single circuit you build. All right, let's take a look at our green output bits. These bits do something like light up or move. For example, let's take our blue power bit and connect it to our green LED. Now let's take a look at pink bits. Pink bits are input bits and they allow you to add controls to your circuit. Some are buttons or dimmers and others are sensors like temperature, proximity, or light. Finally, let's take a look at orange bits. Orange bits connect inputs to outputs. Some are wires that allow you to change the shape and the size of your circuit and others like the inverter or the latch actually change the logic of your circuit. Now let's take a look at some of the bits in the kit. Some of these bits have adjustable modes, like the motor, for example. This motor has clockwise, counterclockwise, and variable modes. Clockwise and counterclockwise allow you to change the spin and the direction of your motor. The variable modes allow you to change direction and speed. Remember, in circuitry, order is really important. So power always comes first, and inputs can only affect outputs that come after them. If you want to learn more about each bit, you can reference the educator guide or the online Bitopedia. When you're looking through the kit, you'll also notice unpowered components as well. These are accessories and they help bring your circuit to life. Let's take a look at the mounting board. So mounting boards provide a surface for your circuits to be built on. Choose the right mounting board size for your circuits and then snap the little bits pieces directly into that mounting board to begin building. The hook, loop, and adhesive bit shoes are like portable mounting boards. They allow you to attach your circuits to any surface. Wheels and mechanical arms attach to the axles of the motor and the servo bits. They allow you to take advantage of motion. Remember that little bits accessories aren't just limited to things that you can find inside the kit. You can also grab some scissors, some cardboard, some colored paper, and add some functionality to your builds and get creative. Included with your class pack, you'll also receive a Sphero craft pack that comes with everything you'll need to get creative with your Little Bits kits. The Invention Kit also comes with printed materials to help you get started in the classroom. The Meet the Bits Challenge Cards are a great way to start learning about all the bits in a hands-on way and start inventing. The front of the card prompts students with a quick circuit, and the back of the card asks students to use what they learn to prototype an invention. On Sphero Central, you can find lesson guides to help you facilitate each challenge. If you have a class pack, you'll also have a physical copy of our educator guide. The educator guide provides detailed information about each bit, and it also previews some easy to build inventions, as well as guiding you on how to find lessons and resources on Sphero Central. You can always access a digital version of the educator guide on Sphero Central. When you're inventing, things rarely go exactly as planned, so troubleshooting is just part of the invention process. When students are having trouble with their circuits, here's a few things to look for. First, check the power. Make sure that the power bit is turned on and you can see a red light. If you're using a battery, try swapping in a new 9-volt battery. Next, check your connections. Sometimes dust gets in the way of a really strong connection, so try unsnapping the bits apart, wiping them down, and then snapping them back together. Finally, remember to have your bits in proper order and you've selected the correct modes. Remember, if the last bit is an input, it won't do anything. Mm -hmm. 
If you've tried all of that and you're still having trouble, you can always reach out to us at support at Sphero.com. Remember that Sphero Central is your hub for all your classroom needs. Check back frequently for all our standards aligned updates to lessons and resources. Now get out there and go have a little bit of fun. Thank you.